Hey everybody, it's me, Lise T and Cordy, coming at you with some positive energy, lighten up your life with Lisa. <laughs> Reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. Okay, uh, right, I'm back on track, I'm on the day. <laughs> okay, June 15th, yes. Competition between martyrs. Hmm. Hmm. Competition between martyrs. People who, uh, a martyr is someone who, I don't know the exact definition, but it's someone who, like, it does good, but, like, in a way where it, it defeats themselves in some way. Like, they, like, they, they, it's an overdone goodness. It's an overdone giving giving and goodness to the world, I think. Um, I'm gonna have to look that definition up. I wanna know what a martyr is exactly. Okay, so competition, competition between martyrs. Yes, I know your spouse is an alcoholic, but my son is an alcoholic and that's different. That's worse. Uh, so I, so someone might think if they're an, a martyr, they might say, I am taking care of a much, my situation is much worse than yours and, and what I'm doing for the situation then holds more power or more goodness in it because my, something like that, does that make sense to y'all? Okay, so, yes, yeah, so uh, this is in quotations and italics. Yes, I know your spouse is an alcoholic, but my son is an alcoholic and that's different, that's worse. My son is, yours. You're dealing with your spouse, but I'm dealing with my son, and I'm his mother. So my situation and what I'm doing is, is at a much higher level. That's, I guess, what I think. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, my pain is greater than yours. This is something that I actually have been talking about to friends um, in the last five years. I remember, like, a conversation with a friend, like, four years ago when I was just learning about, like, actual triggers um, through tra about trauma. And I shared with them, I said, you know, now that I have an understanding, like with my knowledge about the body and the brain and the mind, uh, my education on that, along with my personal experience with trauma, um, I now know that. And I was telling a friend when they said like, oh God, yeah, but what you've gone through is worse. And I was like, no, trauma is trauma. Trauma in the, in the brain and the body, the way that the, the chemical physiological reactions make trauma the same for everybody. Um, so I, and the, I remember the, this conversation specifically saying to a friend, you know, a little girl who's say, you know, four years old and gets, you know, feels left in the park or something. Say they're at the park, or she's at the park with her mom, and and all of a sudden the mom had to run and catch the dog or something. And the little girl turns around and sees like a whirlwind of like n n her mom is gone and she feels abandoned and and you know left behind and 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 alone and all these things and. And her her system, this four year old little girl, goes has a traumatic event happen. Um, she is left behind. She is also left for dust. You know, she her, her brain will go to the the worst case scenario. Can't see mom. Oh my god, I'm alone. Um, that trauma is the same as the actual what happens in the body and then and uh, and the the memory that creates in the in the memory part of the brain. Um, that is the same as as you know a fourteen year old girl who gets raped. They, now, how that plays out is different, but the trauma response is the same. And down the road, you know, their trauma is the same too. That little girl, the four-year-old little girl, um, the second someone doesn't answer a text, or if she doesn't look at that stuff, the second someone doesn't answer a text, or um, someone's late to pick her up, or she, her, if she hasn't looked at it, her body brain and mind will go into trauma response again and so she and so and the agony that she might feel like oh my god I'm getting left behind again it's up you know like that her hers to the little girl who you know maybe was raped um that look the other little girl like you know every time she's around a man maybe she's you know but the, so the, the point is the pain that the pain experience can be the, exactly the same um and pain is very subjective so um, you know, someone will say I have a high pain tolerance. Well, it depends on what they've been. So, so, but hammering, you know, if you take a hammer and hammer the same amount of pressure on to two people's hands, it's the same pain that's coming at them, but two people 
can experience it in very different ways. Some yogi guru or whatever up in the Himalayan mountains mm-hmm. might like have you know uh, uh, evolved, and he can um, he can withstand that because he's, he's he has a new relationship with pain. So we get we end up getting a relationship with pain. Um, my battery might die. I hope not. Okay, so I'm gonna go on. Okay, so uh, my pain is greater than yours. What an easy trap that can be for us. We are out to show others how victimized we have been, how much we hurt, how unfair life is. People who are, there's some people that are out to show you. No, no, no. Let me tell you, my life has been to, like extra hard. You know, it's, no, we've all ha- we all have a story. So we are out to show. So what an easy trap that can be. When I, when, when, some, when, if you ever think my pain is greater than yours, you're in a trap. We are out to show others how victimized we have been, how much we hurt, how unfair life is and what a tremendous martyr we are and we won't be happy until we do we don't need to prove our pain and suffering to anyone we know we have been in pain we know we have suffered most of us has have been legitimately victimized as children it's legitimate Um, many of us have had difficult painful lessons to learn the goal in recovery is not to show others how much we hurt or have hurt the goal is to stop our pain period the end heal it that's all your, your goal is not to prove what you've been through to someone else. It's just to stop it and heal it. The goal is to stop our pain and to share the solution with others. If someone begins trying to prove us how much he or she hurts, we can simply say, it sounds like you've been hurt. Maybe all the person is looking for is validation of their pain. If we find ourselves trying to prove to someone how much we've been hurt, or if we try to stop someone else's pain, we may want to stop and figure out what's going on. Do we need to recognize how much we've been hurt or are hurting? There is no particular reward or reward for suffering. As many of us have tricked ourselves into believing in the height of our codependency. You know, we think like, we'll win. There's this, there's this thing that you might think you win. Well, I'll show them how much more, like the, so you get some sort of like reward feeling inside of you. Um, trying to prove that your pain is worse than someone else or trying to prove to someone how much you've been hurt. If you've been hurt, you've been hurt. You don't have to prove that to anybody. Um, your, your only responsibility is to heal it. Look at it, feel it, deal with it, heal it. So uh, the reward is learning to stop the pain and move into joy, peace, and fulfillment. Your reward will come when you stop your pain, heal from it, and then somehow, eventually, with probably without you knowing, you pass that lesson on to someone else and help them. You show them. By example lead by example so that is the gift of recovery and it is equally available to each of us even if our pain was greater or less than someone else's here's your prayer for today God help me be grateful for all my lessons be grateful for everything that's happened and brought you to where you are standing right now today it's all been a gift if you're in the healing journey if you get stuck in the pain it's you, you can't see the gift you got to get out God, help me be grateful for all my lessons, even if the ones that have caused me the most pain and suffering, even the ones that have caused me the most pain and suffering, even the ones that have caused me the most pain and suffering, help me to be grateful for all those lessons. Help me learn what I need to learn so I can stop the pain in my life. Help me focus on the goal of recovery rather than the pain that motivated me into it. A freaking man! There you go, people. Have an amazing day. Be grateful, love yourselves, and love your life. Thank you.